Good morning, guys. A big old nice surprise came in this morning. And it's in. What's going on over here? Happy Taika. You big happy? <laughs> Taika gets so much love. Big cutie. What is going on up there? Seems like Grandma's moving something up there. Oh, he's, he's uh, looking at his own reflection. Oh, in the mirror? Yeah. Is that the mirror over here? No, this one. Oh, I see it. Hey, 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 baby. Hey, baby. Well, anyways, the big package that came in this morning that I'm really excited about. So, you know how I was on like a clothing shopping spree? Well, I went on a shoe shopping spree too. And uh, I bought this a while ago. It just all came in. And so I don't even remember what I got anymore because I bought a bunch of pairs at the same time. And now that Ma Bear is feeling better, I can't wait to share some of the shoes with her because Ma Bear is also into shoes. So we both like shoes. Although our tastes are a little bit different, I still really like sharing what I got. Ready to see, Mama? Yeah. Oh all my right. God, nothing came up. Yes. Yes. All right, look at, look at how many shoes I got, Mama Bear. Can you do it over here? Over there? Okay. Because then I can watch him and watch you. Oh, okay, fine. All right. Did you show them your closet, how empty it is now? Uh, no, I'll, I'll update that later, too. I haven't shown them the updated closet. I just showed them uh, everything that I gave away. Fine. Okay. How do you put it up here? Where? We'll make it easy for all of us. Okay. Set it up on that speaker. Yeah. Oh, on this little stand? Okay. Our gifts. And we still gotta give people. Okay. Oh, she went in reverse <laughs> quick. Oh, cool. We're all in it. Alright, cool. So here's the shoes and the camera set up. First of all, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs here, and I bought two more from another site. Which ones do you wanna look at first? Go in order. Go in order? Okay. Some Sacconis? Yep, some Sacconis. Is the proper way Sacconi or Saucony? Uh, it's probably Saucony. Let me know if it's Sakuni or Sakoni because I don't even know. So this is the first pair. Are you ready? Show you first or show them first? Both. Both? So like this? So Did I you show yourself so first. I see it last? No. What? Okay. Yes, that way. Okay. Ooh. I got some of these. Those are nice. Ooh, I like the pink. It's like a little green. It's like a sea foam, is it? I don't know. The it's not sea foam. It's gray for sure. It's green though. With the hint of more on the green side, but it's gray. Okay. This is nice. <laughs> it's nice. I'm not talking anymore. I'm fine. And I got a little pink on the inside. Pretty dope, right? Pretty fresh. Gum sole bottom. Thought it looked pretty fresh. Jack in my style, I see you. Wow. You have these a pair like these? No, I have pink ones, but they're Reeboks. But these are fresh though. Uh -huh. so mine. She has good taste. Alright, so that's shoe number one. Shoe and number two. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, some olive green ones. Oh, these are nice too. With some hints of tan and beige on there. These are very guy, I like them. Yeah, I wanted to get something that's a little bit, you know, low key. These are nice. Low key what in color, they? but still looks hella dope. I forgot, I gotta ask B Choi. Shout out to B Choi, I was asking for some legit sites where, because I know it's really easy to get fake shoes online. And I was like, can you tell me some real sites? And then uh, he gave me some sites and I bought it from there. So these yeah, are the second pair. It's pretty dope. I like them. And then these ones. So these ones are not fancy at all. They aren't rare. It's out there. It's at Foot Locker everywhere. But I just wanted some clean, very down to earth, chill shoes. But with a slight twist that I don't think that I think people are sleeping on. <laughs> See, he agrees. So these are Stan Smiths, which everybody knows, but with a slight Velcro twist. Uh, a lot of people have those right now. No a lot of females. A, no one has a Velcro. I haven't seen anybody with a Velcro. I don't know about guys, but a lot of females do. Oh, really? Everyone that I see has the laces, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to hit y'all with a little twist. I'm going to go back to them elementary school days when yep. I didn't know how to tie my I'm going to fucking cross my Velcros. Did you ever do that? No. You never went like this, or you crossed I them? I hated Velcro shoes. They got hot. Everyone in elementary school did this. Crossed them. <laughs> so I have to keep it old school. Those are nice. 
I, I kind of toyed around with getting those two. With the Velcro? Uh, I don't know if they were Maybe. But I didn't think I could pull them off. You could pull everything off. And I just, I guess I didn't, with the outfits that I have in my mind, I'm like, I have too many guy shoes, like too many athletic uh, shoes. That's why I opted more for female looking. Because if you can pull off that shoes. aluminum foil anorak, you could pull anything off. Well, well, Remember that aluminum full hand rod, right? From Urban Outfitters. All right, here's another pair of Sauconies or Sacconies. And it's actually really easy for me to buy shoes online because I'm a perfect 10. I'm literally in a 10, and every single shoe brand that I've ever worn, I never fluctuate except for the two that are guaranteed to fluctuate, and that's Vans and Chucks. With those, I get nine and a half. What but, about Red Wings? Uh, and that's the first shoe. But it's a construction shoe, and that makes sense because all my military combat boots are also one size down. But I know a lot of people in military boots, construction boots, whatever, it's constantly wavering, and I'm really lucky to have like a very standard foot. Another pair of Sockenies. Ooh, it's a different box. Some, Whoa, those are so... Some bada bing, bada boom. Those are really dope. A little bit of leather, a little bit of orange, a little bit of black. Those are dope. The laces are sick too. Gum sole bottom. Really nice. A little bit of leather. These are sick. You like them? Yeah, they're really dope. Thank you. They're really, really sick. It's like, I think this is waterproof too. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Those are nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you can't hear the enthusiasm in my voice. But see, now you can see why I bought the things I bought. So I bought something else earlier and she laughed at me. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to explain why I laughed at him too. So y'all, y'all know I love my Pendleton flannels, right? And I was like, bam, I got another one finally with some elbow pads, bada beam, bada boom. Okay, can I explain to them why I was like And now you can see why the whole outfit fits together. So I do agree with you. You have a lot of steez and you are very stylish. I am? You are. Um, the reason why I was, and I wasn't laughing at you. Why are you getting hot all of a sudden? I was disappointed and I shook my head because I'm like, not disappointed as in like, oh, you've shamed the family disappointed, but I was just like, come on, dude, you know better than this. So he's so excited and I kind of felt bad because I was like, so he's so excited. He's opening his package because he just arrived and I'm like, oh, cool fashion show. And then he pulls it out. And as soon as he pulls it out, I was like, oh my God, why did you do that? So the reason why I said, why did you do that? I didn't laugh at you was because he's always talking about this right here. This that you see right here, he gets constantly hot. Like, I was he just kidding. How cold, actually. I'm actually so the cold. In fact, if you guys don't know Pendleton, I'm Pendleton, actually cold. they're known for Ooh. their flannels. And yeah. their flannels are high quality. And when high quality flannels, that means it's going to keep you warm. I'm actually pretty cold. It's going to keep you really warm. And it's super fucking thick because it's quality. It's actually probably real wool. It's made to last your lifetime. Yes. So the fact that he got it, knowing... His body temperature, I'm like, you're never going to wear that. In addition, because we don't have any fucking seasons in California. Like LA, like right oh, now is our winter. Oh, God I had one of these things because it was fucking cold, I mean. <laughs> it looks amazing and it looks so good on you. But I'm like, why do you keep it? All he bought, all I've seen, seriously, from what he's bought outside of cool shoes, he's only bought flannels and jackets. The two things that he does not need to be wearing. His fucking sleeping blanket is see-through. Like, that's the only blanket I've ever used that does not insulate, does not work. So I'm like, dude, you're never going to wear this. But you got to admit, this looks pretty fresh, though. And I already did. In the beginning of this whole thing, I admitted it's going to look amazing. But you're fucking hot. I am hot. <laughs> All right, on to the next shoe. Thank you for, for being patient with that whole thing. Another... Another New Balance. Okay. Oh, this is the first New Balance actually. Oh, no, another New Balance. Ready? Watch mine. Good drink. Bam, son! Ooh. Sarate. 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 Blue, white, gray, light blue. Oh, they didn't lace it for me, so I gotta lace it myself. That's a little, uh, little pattern in there. Little pattern action. And then, that's uh, like your little secret, because only you know. Yeah, only we know. Bam. New Balance action. They're sick. Thank you. Thank you. And then, got another pair right here. Oh, let's go move on to the Sacconi, Sacconi. 
hope all of you guys get to see him actually wear these outfits because he never wears them. This is just to keep another low key shoe. That looks like the New Balances. Which New Balances? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So this is just another low key shoe, but I wanted one that you know sometimes you have that daily driver. Yeah. So this is a shoe. Just from the looks of it, I can tell I can get it dirty, and it's not gonna. It's gonna be dope. Yeah, it's still gonna look dope. Some of the other ones, like that sea foam teal light green gray one, that one I know the minute I start wearing it, it's gonna get dirty. It's gonna lose its freshness and its crispness. I, I wanted to get a daily driver shoe that I know I could wear all the time. It still goes with my outfit, and I know it won't. Uh, lose its appeal. So this is my daily driver shoe. I love how you got black, by the way. You hate black. Hmm? You love black, but you hate wearing black clothing. I know, but I'm trying to change my... I think that's Because awesome. one of the biggest problems was, like, when, when it's time he to do... He's digging his fucking thumb into my... Oh, why? Oh. So one of the things I was trying to battle is every time we have night events, all my clothes are light-colored. I'm like, I can't wear anything else. So I wanted to get some light-colored stuff. Last... What? Box. You open that one? I opened this one already. This is the orange one. Last but not least. Ooh. Shit. So you're sad. My Nuka. My Nuka, honey, for sure. Look at that. Those are sick. All white with a little bit of. <laughs> it still works. Still works. So these are my shoes. I have two more coming in. Uh, the other two are just ones at Air Max. Uh, one, it's all red. Like literally every single thing is red about it, from the, the shoelace, the soles, everything. And the other one is the Air Max 97. The OG. Remember the one we saw in Rome? It's silver and what and black and red. And I was like, man, I wanted those when I was a kid, but I couldn't afford them, and I wanted to get them there, and then they disappeared. And then when I came back and I saw it popped off in America, like six months later, I was like, fuck, I gotta get them, and I couldn't find them, so I had to pay a premium for those. But they're coming in. Should have bought them in Venice when I had the chance. But now I pay a premium. But I'm happy that they're coming in. And they're real. Because it's easy to get fake shoes on. That's it. How do you like my cops? They're fucking badass. Are they? Yes. Can I tell you a secret? Half of my cops, I buy it just to impress you. Because if you feel like I have artistic taste, then when I wear things, I have it with more confidence. Because now when I strut the streets, I'm like, my bear likes these. My bear likes these. And I don't care what other people say anymore. Ice cream. Yep. <laughs> you me. Speak of the devil. Right when I was showering, my last two pair of shoes came in. And I have to show you guys. So this is the one I was talking about. Uh, when I was in Venice and I should have bought it. And now I paid a premium for them. But now I have them. And I'm happy because every time I see them on IG, on social media... On the ads that are promoted to me on Facebook. I'm like, damn it, I should have bought it in Venice. Why didn't I listen to myself? And now I know. If I really feel compelled to get something, especially that ties to my childhood, where like I've always wanted these, but I was never uh, rich enough to buy them, should have bought them. Got these guys. And then he, here are the all red Air Max ones. Pretty sick. Pretty motherfucking sick. And then also, some last bit of my shipment came in a bunch of just regular ass tees pocket tees but I wanted to keep it classy so I got polo it's like thin nice thin collar I could just wear this with some jeans some dope shoes my watch should look pretty fly and uh, a couple more button-ups came in these ones are thinner that way Maudbrick can't make fun of me but I didn't make fun of you fine are you butt naked yes <laughs> So uh, now what's funny is now that I have all these options, because I bought a ton of clothes at once, I'm not too sure what I should wear today. And we're actually going to go buy more clothes. Well, one, is that another package? So what we're supposed to do is, um, this is top secret, but by the time this vlog comes out, it probably would have happened, so I can share it with you guys. But we're buying uh, Gina a really awesome gift because um, last year, two years ago, uh, one of the videos with her in it got over 20 million views and we couldn't have done it without her And also we couldn't have done it without all you perverts that clicked on it. I think it was called sex expert And I think like half of the <laughs> millions of views came from Pakistan or Bangladesh or something. So I know there's a lot of horny uh, Perverts out there, but uh, yeah, we wanted to uh, kind of give Gina thanks so We're gonna go buy her really really nice gift and uh, Meanwhile, I was like, you know what? I need to stop looking like a railroad worker and I think I might buy a couple of nice pieces to go with my regular pieces. So this is what I consider regular. 
everything in my wall. Oh, I'll show you guys my closet right now where it looks crazy bare. Well, Geo closet bare, I think it's pretty stocked up. I have a decent amount of pants, decent amount of shirts. And you know, growing up, my parents never let me allow me to have more than seven things. So this to Are me is a serious? lot. Yeah, like seven pairs of underwear. They always told me, you wear six during the week. The seventh day, you better be doing laundry so that you have the next. So I was never allowed to have more than seven pairs of socks, seven pairs of underwear, seven pairs of anything. And I was only allowed to have two pairs of pants and two pairs of shorts. I mean, it's very practical. I yeah. admire them for that, but... So this to me is a fuck do, ton of clothes to but me. But then I'm like, why do we work so hard? Like, what's the point? I know. So but, that, like, but because I grew up like that, like, this is actually a fuck ton of clothes to me. And I do want to add to that. We're not spending recklessly. We have our retirement money set up. We have a Taika's education fund already set up. Um, we are paying both of our parents an allowance, so that's already set up. Like, we got a house. Like, all our investments are in place. Like, we even invest in other businesses outside of the stuff that you guys see. So our money is really diversified. But then now it's like, I like I don't really care about materialistic things. Like I really don't. Like if I didn't have any of this and we just lived in a cardboard box, and I'm sure you would agree, we would be like so fucking happy. Yeah. But because we can and we're like making money, I'm like, dude, I like dope shit. Like if I want to buy this stupid robe, I don't care how much it costs. Obviously, it has to be within, uh, within my budget, like within my means. But if it's three dollars or if it's three hundred, and I can afford it, I'm gonna be like. Fuck it, I like it. Who cares? Yeah, like, and it's I also, bought, I think for me, more I importantly... I this stupid shit. Like, I buy <laughs> shit that makes me happy. Like, I don't buy shit because I think it's going to make me look cool. Obviously, this is not going to make me look cool. Yes, it will. Fine. To our I think look, look at the tail. But I think, I think um, we, we really stay true to ourselves, and we do pay it where, you know, we do pay it back, and we do invest, and, like, I don't know. I just think, like, you shouldn't feel guilty if you have more than seven things. I know. I just grew up a certain way. I agree. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice because it really puts things into perspective. But then I'm like, what the fuck? When you die, you're not going to take any of this. You're not going to take your money. Like, just live in the now. Yeah. I think, after investing. After investing. True. And I think for me, now the lens that I'm looking through is more of a artistic expression. Like, my body's a canvas. And how can I express myself through clothes? And that's what fashion is all about anyways. Like, if you look at high, high fashion. So, I'm adding to this. But now the predicament is I don't know what to wear today. Oh, my God. But, <laughs> what? I didn't have all this practice. Like, you look at you, your outfit's fucking sick. You just probably just whip that up. And for me, I'm like, damn, how long did it take you to do all that? It's not that sick, but thank you. Sick to me. Thanks. So you're probably adding accessories already. You got mad skills. I don't know. I did this a lot. I know. So I'll pick something, and then I'll see if, I, see if I'll show you guys, because it might come out not as close as my pairs. What? It's not a competition part. Yes, it is. No, I'm just kidding. All right. I'm sweating these cold sweats because it's so cold and I never get hot. But I finally got my outfit on. I think I look pretty cool and not so much railroad worker. So I got my hat, my shirt, my casual shirt, my watch, my pants, rolled it up a little bit just to distinguish that I'm not working right now. And then my boots. How do you think I look, my bear? Good. You have to tell me about the cuff pants though. What about the cuff pants? You're fighting with me on it for a minute. No, I just didn't know what I was going to do with it yet. I knew I was going to cuff them, but I just didn't know how yet. And I my think... bear always looks fly, by the way. From head <clears throat> down to the toe. Wow, you look real good. What? Really? Yeah, like your jacket matches your shoes. And then, I don't know if this is intentional, but that kind of matches the tips of the shoes. And then you have the camel pants to offset the entire color palette. And you even got the beads to kind of accentuate the redness of the red. the browns, but it's okay. Oh, fine. It's okay. You look fly. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. It's my first day of wearing my full outfit, and I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm changing, I'm changing. I'm changing the way I look one step at a time. Once again, hat, shirt, pants, scoos. <laughs> New bikini. This is the world famous Rodeo Drive. <laughs> and Beverly, <laughs> that was the squeakiest horn I've ever heard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's an awesome horn. It's cutie. Thank you. So we just bought Gina's gift, and I got some last minute shopping done too. 
and I would show you what we got for Gina, but because it is a a sentimental gesture between me and Ma Bear and Gina, and it's uh, private and personal to our friendship. If Gina wants to reveal it in her vlog, that's okay. But um, I think sometimes, like when we vlog every single thing, like every personal, intimate moment, it kind of like, what's the word? Uh, it, it makes it less of a like you don't know what their true intent is. Is yeah. it is it for the views or is it like a kind like a kind gesture? And I don't ever want that to come across as like we're doing it for the freaking YouTubes. Yeah. Yeah. Because Gina's our actual friend and we live real lives, and I don't want to ever be like. You know, there's a lot of times where I'm sure a lot of YouTubers are giving money to homeless people, and I'm sure it's coming from the the uh, the niceness and the goodness of their heart. But then when you add a camera element to it, and then you and then you title it giving homeless people money, then it's like, well, what's the real intention? You know, it kind of muddies everything up. And because this is just like a a, a very honest, true gesture from me and Ma Bear to Gina, we're just gonna give her the gift. If she wants to reveal it to the world, you guys will see it through her, but um, this is just part of our day, so we came out here. And every time I come out here, I actually, I don't know what makes it world famous. Is it because it's been in millions and millions of movies? Um, I think it's just because it's all the luxury high-end brands all together, side by side by side. So it's just how like the rich and famous, you know, where they shop and live and stuff. So it's, it's, it's a part of um, living that not the average person can experience. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what makes it world, world famous. It's just this row of like high end luxury stores. Yeah, and it's crazy because like this this row, it's either you're a tourist, which I feel like I'm a tourist because I don't live this life daily, or you'll see you'll notice like baller ballers where like they're blowing their snot into like a Burberry fucking napkin or some shit like that, and you see like some money money folks. Like earlier, we just saw uh, Chinese people once again. A family of Chinese people dropped <laughs> off in a, a Rolls Royce Phantom and they had a driver. <clears throat> they were so balling they weren't even driving. I'm like, damn. Now that's balling. Mm -hmm. And the driver was white too. That's crazy. crazy. That's how you know you made it. Yep. When you have a Caucasian driving you. I'm actually pretty hungry. Hungry at all? Me too. Are we going to give Gina her gift first or are we going to get food first? Uh, she's actually eating now so she won't be back until we're probably back home. So do you want to get food or do you want to just drive home? You already know my answer, baby. Okay, fine. We'll just you drive You know I got to be with my Taika Malaika. Fine. I love Can't him. Can't be away from that kid for too long. <laughs> he is cute, though. Um, I spent nine months creating him, you know? Like, I, it's it's hard for me to, like, separate myself. Yeah, it's it was real tough, hard stuff, man. Those nine months, we killed it together, didn't we? Well, you did have to deal with my emotional outbursts. Fine. So I'll give it to you this time. But we can pick food up. My mom's home. Afghan food or no? To go? Oh, it's not as good, huh? I don't know. Because we are, we, are, we are out here in Bebel Hill. Yes. Right in the nick of time, right when we just got home, our Postmates came and we ordered kebabs. I was in the mood for um, Afghan food, but since the traffic in LA was looking horrendous, especially around Beverly Hills, I was like, uh, the second best would just be ordering like some sort of Middle Eastern food. So we got some food in, and I can't wait to eat. So hungry. Garage door close. Close. Hey, babies. Hey, babies. Good kids. Hey, babies. Ho, ho. I always miss my boy when I'm out of town. This little cute guy. I mean, out of the house. He smells so good, even though everyone would probably think he's a little stinker. I love his smell. Look at his mom. Beautiful mommy. Thanks. You freaking crazy dog just running all over the place. Hey, you trying to steal my Coke? You <laughs> scared him. I'll scare him. Fine, let's eat. Put the boy in the swing. Smells good, huh? Yeah, like Turn this guy on. There we go. 
just order some boba too. I've been on some crazy boba binge. I don't know what it is, but I've been getting this like every other day and I keep eating the same exact flavor to peach. And I think I've been getting it so much, it became contagious. So Ma Bear also got one. Can I show you something funny? Yeah. All right, so we've been trying to link up with Gina all day today and she's so funny. Let me show you this text. <clears throat> oh, I have it on my lips. I'll just read it to you. Okay. So we've been going, hey Gina, what's your going to be home? She's like, I don't know, between five or whatever. She's like, yeah. but I'm going to have to leave around seven. So then we're like, oh shit, okay. So we got home and I'm like, hey Gina, I'm home. Do you want to just come by so you can pick up your gift? And then she's just like, no, I can't. I have a meeting in uh, LA, so I have to get ready for it. So I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll just go to buy tomorrow. And then we're so excited to give it to her. I just texted her. I'm like, hey, I think we're really excited to give you a gift. Are you home <laughs> now? And then she goes, what the fuck is going on? If this is another baby announcement, we're fighting. <laughs> that's funny. And she goes, I'm home, Ella. That, uh, all right, so that's cute. Home. So we're going to go over and give her a gift? Yeah. Awesome. That's funny. It is funny. Little what are you doing over there? I just see a boba straw sticking out. I don't want my I don't want my boba to go soggy. Why don't you just bring it? I'm bringing it. Oh. You're crazy. You're crazy, boba man. Oh <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to go? Yeah. All right. So we already left Gina's house and um, it was really dope because she got super excited and she told us she loved this and she kissed me on the forehead and the really cool thing is if you guys are interested she's actually posting it on social media where I don't know where but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like on IG or something but she was so grateful and she's like I'm gonna sleep with it yay thanks guys so if you guys want to see what we gave her uh, you can ask her or you can go check out her I think it's her Instagram yeah, she got so excited she had one of her roommates uh, bring out a phone because she didn't know if it was like we're going to reveal another a baby or anything like that. So she, was, she, she just didn't know what was happening. So she had her roommate bring out another camera and record her reaction and all that stuff, which is really cool. So I got to put on my seatbelt too. Yeah, responsible car. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, she did not believe it. She's like, is there going to be a pregnancy test? It's another baby announcement. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, that's how we announced that we were pregnant. We, it was around this time actually yeah um we went all, all around all of our friends houses and we're like hey can we drop off your christmas present and then that's inside the christmas presents where we told them that we were gonna have a baby so this time she's like are you gonna are you gonna tell me that again am i gonna open this box and there's like a preg a used pregnancy test so it was a really nice surprise 